so welcome to everybody to my uh, first illustration tutorial what we've got here are some templates so in this particular tutorial we're not making our fashion templates we've found them somewhere on the internet we've downloaded them off the website and you choose the body that suits the garment the best place over the top a piece of bank or bond paper now we're using um, the bank or the bond paper because we like to use the Copic markers to put our colour in and this is probably one of the better papers for doing that. It's nice and fine, you can see through it. Drawing the garment onto the fashion figure, I always like to start with the garment first and then deal with the body parts later. Always work, if you can, outside the edge of the body. Think about the garment being the next layer rather than absolutely skin tight. Pay quite a bit of attention to this centre line down the garment. I have a crossover neck on this top and I want it to cross over on the centre line. Small correction. In particular, this figure, she's quite twisted around to her left side. When you're doing ruching, try and sort of vary the weight on your pencil so you get a slightly different weight line. Makes it more interesting to look at. Again, working out the, outside the edge of the body. This is a fairly slim, close-fitting skirt, but I'll still draw it sitting outside the edge of the body. And in the bottom, we can generate these wave shapes that give us a sense of fullness in the hem of the skirt. This slim bias skirt has a fishtail at the back that tends to make the hem flare out has a centre seam and the centre seam goes on that centre line and it's got quite a lot of ruching and again vary the length and the weight of the line and it starts to look a little bit more interesting the seam goes down the centre of the skirt So we have the garment, and now we put the body in. There's always a temptation when you first start doing fashion drawing to want to draw the body and then put the garment on it. Not necessary. Keep the features on the face really simple. If we start getting too fussy, if we try to describe exactly the shape of the eye or the lips, <clears throat> it can often get very complicated and we can mess it up very quickly. Keep it simple. With the arms and the legs, follow the muscle shape and placement that's already on your template. If you're faithful to what the template looks like, then that will make sense. When you're drawing the feet, again, try and keep them simple and make them bigger rather than smaller. If your fashion figure has small feet, it will look like she's going to fall over. So always make them bigger rather than small. So I've penciled in everything I need for the fashion illustration. I can get rid of the template. 
and then consider the colours that I'm going to choose to, to, to um, put into this garment.